Hello everyone out there, again in my geek land, <laughs> my Geek Whisper page and my men's Facebook group and my profile. Welcome to um, my, see this is for men, the, this context for this my live stream is for men. And it's, uh, I have my mojo, I call it the mojo dating secrets, okay? That's what this live stream is all about. So who am I? In case you don't know who I am, I'm Janet Moore and I call myself the Geek Whisperer. And I am a dating confidence and connection coach for single men in tech. And I help them with their nervousness, like doubt, hesitation, all that kind of stuff, so they can confidently attract, date, and find love. So that's what I'm all about. One thing you might not, or, know, or maybe you do know about me, is I am also a geek. Maybe you can tell. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got my shirt on. To prove it. See? Oh, epic fail. Anyways. Um... <clears throat> I am a computer science degree from the University of Texas, so I am truly a geek. I love gadgets. I have my whole house like wired <laughs> for for lights and for automation. It's just you know, it's who I am. Love sci-fi, Picard. Yeah, Picard. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm watching One Division. You know, I just love all that stuff. So, anyways, and I got my Harry Potter. Let's see, Harry Potter stuff. I don't know if you can see it. My Star Trek stuff over here. So I am really a geek, super geek, okay? And I started doing this because years ago, I, I was a dating coach here in Austin and I decided to to focus on single men in tech because I've been like one of the guys my pretty much my whole career. Okay. So anyways, <clears throat> let's get started on today's topic. So what is today's topic? So look, I have pretty little banners for this today, but they moved on me. <laughs> let's see, oh, here it is. What makes a swipe right online dating profile? So what makes a swipe right? How do you make a swipe right? How do you get women just want to swipe right? What kind of profile do I need to have? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, this is like ask, I'm going to have a request of you for those that are listening to me on replay, not live, but on replay, please go ahead and in the comments, put hashtag replay. So I know that you got to hear this later might not see you now, but I'll see you eventually, right? So let me know, okay, um, <clears throat> that you got to see this. So again, excuse me, we're going to look at what makes a swipe right online dating profile. So one of the first things I want to talk about is probably, I'm going to guess, maybe why your pro online dating profile isn't getting the traction it could, because again, Everyone has their preferences, right? So we're not saying that I'm going to make you like all of a sudden women are going to start swiping right. But if you actually took the time to, to actually do something to your online profile, it would be bringing out the best in you. Like what, how can we bring out the best of you and, and express it on your online dating profile? So the women go, oh, wow. Instead of, oh, no, right? It's like, no, left, right? So one of the, the concepts I want to talk about here is you probably spend more time filling out your resume and spending, you know, like thoughtful, mindfulness, conscious thought about what to put on your, your resume, your career resume, than you do about your online dating profile. Now, I know this because I've seen lots of guys dating profiles. It's pretty sad. There are uh, there's few that like, like shine. And those, those guys, you could tell, took the time. And if they're gonna, and what I'd like to say as a woman, if we see a guy that does it, we think, oh, that guy took the time. He'll maybe take the time with me. We're impressed, guys. We're impressed when you take the time to actually be mindful and conscious about what you're writing in your online dating profile. So again, you probably spend more time looking, filling out your, you know, spending time on your online, I mean, <laughs> on your date, on your resume for your career than you do your online dating profile. But you might want to, like, think about it a little bit. Yes, your career is very important. But isn't your love life too? Well, don't you think you might want to actually do the same for your, for your love life? Is actually spend the time filling out an online dating profile? One of the things I suggest you do is you just, um, you know, get a piece of paper and write it out on a, on, on a piece of paper. But, like, a Word doc, wherever, wherever you want. But put it on somewhere where you can copy paste later. Because if you're going to do multiple different sites, then you would want to take some stuff that's really good 
you know, they ask different kinds of questions. So you might have really good questions for this. It's different from that. So basically, you want to really take the time and, and actually put it, copy paste those those answers and put them on, on a paper. So for later, it will be easy for you, right? Because you put on all that effort and work, right? So might as well put it someplace and kind of all together. You know, in online marketing or marketing just in general, we have something called copy, marketing copy, copywriting, right? The words, the messaging that we put out. A lot of times I put together all my really good stuff that I, about, my, about me, my my messaging about certain products or, or things that I do, right? So the same thing, you might want to do the same thing for online dating. Again, spending the time like you would or more time than you would on your resume, okay? Your career resume. Because think about it. You kind of, um, you know, you're looking at it. You, what do you do when, when you write your resume? You write down what you what you actually do. But you kind of highlight, like, make yourself look really great. Like, how do I highlight myself to make an employer go, ooh. Like, how do you make your resume stand out? I think that y'all probably think about that a little bit when you fill out your resume. But do you do that for your online dating profile? Maybe not so much. Well, I'm considering, I'm saying that you should consider doing that. So again, oh, this is the next one, sorry. Highlight what makes you fun and fascinating to women. So just like on your online, on, on your resume, right, your, for prospective employers, you're highlighting what makes you like look really like you know what you're doing and impressive, right? I said, what's impressive to these employers? And that's what you usually put on your resume, right? And you write it in a way such that they're like, wow, I want to like totally interview this guy because he knows what he's, he seems to know what he's doing. Well, if you can write it like that for your, your employer, you might be able to do it for your woman, for finding a woman. So again, you want to start looking at what, who am I and what, what, what makes me cool, unique, and memorable? What makes me cool? Well, start looking at that. And actually, that's what we're going to be doing. And next week, if y'all haven't gotten um, registered yet, uh, I am going to be doing uh, an online dating profile challenge next week. It's five day challenge, five days. And we're going to be looking at each of these kinds of things. I'm going to be working with you to make sure you're, you're, you're actually taking that time that you need to consider what needs to be put on your online dating profile to make it stand out, right? And to really express who you are, okay? So again, who are you? What makes you so cool and fun that a woman would go, ooh. So that's what you wanna highlight. And that's what we'll be coming up with. We, we have, I have something called your mojo vibe stories. I mean, your mojo vibe first, that's who you are, what you project to others. And then we create stories around your mojo vibe that we can insert into the online dating profile, and into conversation with women, whether it's direct messaging them or interacting with them on the phone or however it is, right? So you want to come and make sure you can get to learn how to do that, okay? In the challenge. So you guys out there, this is for men only, I'm sorry. Are you single men in tech? Register. It's I think it should be in this, yeah, it should be in this live stream uh, post somewhere. Uh, the challenge, if it's not, I'll make sure it's in there. Uh, you have until, you only have two more days really to register because then we start the challenge. Okay. So make sure you do that. Okay. The next thing you want to look at is knowing your target market, like the kind of woman you want to be with, right? <laughs> what kind of woman do you want to attract? You know, it's really interesting. All the guys I've been talking to for a while now, it's like, they're saying, I just want a nice lady who treats me right. She's pretty and attractive. Well, that's not going to get, I mean, that's not that's like a huge market, right? That's just anybody. But do you really want anybody? You probably really don't. If you really think about it, you probably don't want just anybody. You have some probably things. A lot of times people think, oh, I, but I can't have that. I'm going to narrow. It'll make it too narrow and I won't be able to find that woman that I want. And I'm going to tell you that's that's the wrong way to think. Not to be rude, but just saying. That's not going to get you anywhere. So let me give you an example. I used to be a dating coach over 10 years ago started like 15 years ago. I was, in, I was in Austin, Texas, and I just helped singles in general, right? Then later I decided to niche. 
I was taught, I was listening to this lady, who was a coach, and she talked about the importance of niching to your market, to knowing who your ideal target market is. So it's the same thing with a woman. Have you really taught, you know, thought about who is my ideal woman? What kind of woman do I want to be with? Now, what's exciting is when you niche, you can target your message. You can target your focus. Those kind of things. Target, where, where, where would that woman be? Where, where would she go? You start thinking about those things now. Where before it was just everybody. It's kind of like what I think I might have mentioned in one of my other live streams about a car. Well, there's just a bunch of cars out there. But when you decide one day you're going to get a new car and you're looking at that, like this maybe one or two different models, maybe the model that you really want, what happens? Oh my God, you see them everywhere. Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's the one there. When they're there, you know, it's like all of a sudden they're, they, they, they just disappear. So that's what you want to think about is what kind of woman do I want? That'll help me target it, target what I'm looking for. All of a sudden, poof, they appear kind of, right? Or you know where to go to get those kind of women. But if you get any woman, you're, oh, you're not going to get, you're going to get anything. And that's not probably what you want. So uh, a, a story I've told, I might have told this last time. I can't remember. I tell stories all the time and I, I'm in my, I'm, and a pro, I'm teaching a class right now also to men as well. Kickstart your love life program that I'm, that I'm in right now with some, with some, some of my guys that I'm teaching. And I can't remember when I tell these stories when I told, when I told this, but um, I have a friend, he was a financial advisor. Financial advisors are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. Everyone's always wanting to be your financial advisor. And he wasn't doing so well because of that. It wasn't that he was bad. He just, you know, there's just so many of them out there. So what did he do? I think I told him to do this even. I don't remember. But I said, you should niche. You should niche. So he did. He niched to divorced women. Now, there's the whole world, and then there's a, there's divorced women. And you would think that if you narrowed yourself, well, oh, I'm limiting myself. Well, in a way you are, but not really, because you're getting exactly what you want, and you can target your messaging to them. You can connect with them at a much deeper level than just saying, oh, I can help you build your build money, right? So oh, somebody made a comment here. Let's just saw that. Let's see. A girl that, oh, someone said, I can't see who you are because of this, where this, this uh, software works. So if you put, if y'all, if you want to put comments, please do, but I would, I would request that you put your name in front of it so I can see who you are. So you said a girl enjoys both tech, sci-fi, anime, and gaming. It's seemingly very rare. Yes, but that's because you're probably not looking in the right places for that woman. Potentially, I don't know. And you have to be open to that. So again, like like I just said in this example of, of my friend who was a, who was a um, financial advisor, he niched to sing, just divorced women. And what had happened is his business just exploded. He had so much business because he was targeting his message to the right person. And, and they felt really connected to him because he... You know, he was working only with them and kind of knew what they were going through, right? I mean, he's a man, but still, he, he, he's a financial advisor. He could understand them. He could wrote his messaging so, to that. Same with your, your online dating profile. If you put in your profile, like let's say you want to get married, you put in there, I want to find someone who's serious about a relationship and wants to get married. If you put in there, I just want to get laid every night. I just, I'm with the next, you know, maybe some women, that's what they want. I don't know. I'm just saying Put in there what you really want. They'll be attracted to it. And the thing is, you don't want to just attract some woman that's not. I remember one of the guys, and I might have said this last time, he was with, um, he was dating a woman. And of course, they weren't dating anymore. But they, and she would never watch any sci-fi with him. She just refused to watch anything with them. And that was just sad. I'm like, oh my God, I must have been miserable. And it was. He told me it was. So you got to believe it's possible to get what you want, get what you want. And you got to, it's kind of like weird thinking that when you niche down, you can actually get what you want as opposed to going wide. So go narrow, right? Now there's something that I talk about, we're going to be talking about in the challenge that's coming up next week uh, about expanding your market, but it's not really expanding your market. It's more like expanding your type. So you might have like a type of woman. And when I mean a type, I mean physical traits more than qualities, right? You have to be, you know, five foot five and, you know, hundred pounds and, you know, a spinner, <laughs> just being silly, but you know, those kind of things. So we'll be talking about that as well. So again, we're going to be working in the, in the challenge, 
Uh, it's a free challenge. This next week starts Monday. And we're going to be talking about who are you, what do you want to project to women, and looking at the kind of woman that you want to attract. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about. Can you see that? No? Oh, there it is. No, yeah. Know your target market niche. Oh, I already did that one. Okay, sorry. There. Specify what kind of woman and relationship you want in the online dating profile. So I kind of talked about that already. So again, it kind of goes hand in hand with what I just talked about before. Is once you know who you are, what you want, you need to actually put that in your profile. What kind of woman you want and the relationship you want, right? So those are the kinds of things I'm going to be helping you with next week, okay? Again, it's interesting how much time we don't spend on thinking about our partner and what we want in a partner. And then it reflects that in our online dating profile. Um, again, guys, listen, if you want to impress a woman, fill out your online dating profile. Seriously, it'll make a difference. There are guys that... I've seen that are kind of, you know, they're attractive enough, but I, I go down and look at their profile. And I'm like, oh, I like that. And I'll swipe right. And then there are guys that are really hot. And I go down and look at the profile. Ooh, I don't like what he says. I didn't say anything good. And I swipe left. So it does make a huge difference, guys, to take the time to really write the things in there that, make, that find you that fun and fascinating, telling the girl what you want so you get what you want, right? You connect with her so she'll swipe right. Okay. Then the next thing and the last thing I'm going to talk about tonight is a picture is worth a thousand words, right? A picture is worth a thousand words. So tell a story. So let me talk about that a little bit. So I know in some of these online dating profiles, they have um, like this much room <laughs> to write something about yourself, like a tender or something like that. Bumbled on him much, I think. So, and so you want to be able, you can't really write a story, right? You can't say a lot about yourself so much. So the other alternative is to take, is to put it in a picture. Put it in a picture, who you are, what you do. So again, the challenge, those of you that are going to be in the challenge, we're going to look at that. I'm going to be talking more in depth. This is just kind of giving a highlight here. Of these are the things you need to think about when you're to have a swipe right profile, right? But next week, I'm going to be working with, with, with each of you. I'm only limited to 20 guys, so I can really dig deep and help you guys out with your online dating profiles, okay? We're going to even have, I think, some hot seats. We're going to look through your, through your online dating profile, and I'll give you advice on what to do, okay? And I'm going to do that for the guys that are really doing the work, okay? You're showing me your, that you're putting in the effort. You're, you're doing your assignments, putting it in, and I'm going to be there to help you make it look awesome because I know you're committed, okay? So, again, a picture's worth a thousand words. So, one of the, my big beefs that I've seen about guys is <clears throat> wearing sunglasses in their pictures. You can't see their eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul, right? So, we can't see, as girls, we, we, we it just turns us off, right? Ugh. So, you want to have a picture where you can see your eyes and see your smile. Um, one of the big turnoffs, just, <laughs> just to let you know, guys, and I said this in my last one with the women, is the pictures where you take pictures of yourself, a selfie, in the in the bathroom, right? Because that's where the big mirrors are, right? And what? Because that's not that bad of a thing. But what really turns us off is when you take off your shirt and you're, you know, you take off your shirt and take a picture to show us your your men masculinity or, or your masculinity or, or whatever. <laughs> Total turn off. So don't do that. Now, it doesn't mean you can't show us your physique by other ways. Maybe you're at the gym uh, and you get someone to take a picture or maybe you're out, you know, you're swimming on the beach or the lake and you're in your swimsuit, you know, things like that, or you're windsurfing or, you know, you're on your sailboat sailing or, or whatever, you know. So those are the kinds of things, you know, we don't mind looking at you. We like looking at, you know, things, not that thing, but um, at least not that, not yet. And, and so again, you want to look at what would be appealing to a woman. Don't just put some picture up there. Be really mindful of the kind of pictures that you put in your online dating profile and then select the one that at the your front one, the one, you know, the one that people will look at, the women will look at first that really has a nice smile. You can see yourself like this. 
not like like this or up like this or whatever you know you want to see your face full on with it with your no sunglasses on and um uh, and smiling we want to see you smile you know it's just ugh, don't don't not smile just smile smiling is huge okay and again we're going more in depth um in the challenge next week but those are just some tips that i kind of wanted to go through uh, this is what makes an online dating profile be a swipe right profile okay so again spending the time okay i'm gonna go back to that spend the time filling out your online resume as much time or more than you do for your your actual resume for your career so me you may not spend much on your career so that's why i say more <laughs> but some of you i know actually probably really do take hours to to actually or at least an hour or hour or two to, to update your resume and think about it so again spending time on it what does that mean it means highlighting what makes you fun and unique just like on your on your resume when you're trying to impress your employer you write things that you think would impress an employer well that's what you would do also for your online dating profile write things on there that would make the woman go ooh, hmm, i might need to swipe right on that one get to know him better right and then know your target market niche down like who who do you want to be don't you want to be everybody that way you can put in your profile things that would attract her could that way you'll have a connection right create a connection and then again specify that specify what you want in your profile and then last pictures are a thousand words you know i talked about being fun and fascinating we'll take pictures of yourself doing that when you're in your joy you're very very attractive so be in your joy whatever that is when you're in your joy go out and have some fun with your friends right now like maybe not right this minute because it's dark but maybe so but like tomorrow during the day it's a saturday so we can go out and have some fun and get your friends to go with you and tell them to take a picture of you laughing and being silly those are the kind of pictures you want try to get as full front on or close to front on as you can when you're being having fun and silly or whatever but you know what i'm saying so those are the kinds of things you want to think about so again take time take the time like I said, create a Word doc or a Google doc or whatever called your online dating profile and start adding to that so that when you come to a new, new dating site or something, you can already have it ready to go and you can add to it and even make it better. Anyways, I, um, I have one announcement I want to make. Oops. <clears throat> Next week, we're going to be launching the, the, um, the dating community site. So it's, it's a new dating community site. It's going to be national. It's going to be for anybody in the United States. Um, but there will be targeted communities for like different cities, different interests, things like that. So but we're going to be launching that next week, probably like a soft launch next week and a more a, a larger launch, I guess, <laughs> next week after. Um, so if you're interested in the dating community, just just type below a hashtag community uh, or dating community. Just, yeah, just hashtag community and I'll, get, I'll reach out to you if you're interested in in getting in the community. Now, some of the highlights of the community are you will be background checked of sorts. It's not really a background check. It's more like a, a verification that you're a real person check. They'll look at your, your, your oh, I got some comments over here. Sorry. Didn't click over there. You can't see my friend. That's in which site? Any, any, any online dating prep. So somebody asked me, um, you keep saying online dating profile. Which one are you putting? Any of them. You could be on multiple sites, dating pro dating sites. Um, you could be Bumble, Tinder, Match, any of those. Uh, Plenty of Fish, all those, any of those. Um, so I'll keep it on there in case you want to answer, ask another question. Um, but what's great about this uh, dating community site is everyone in the this, in this site will have been verified they're a real person. And we'll, you'll know, you know, no, no bad criminal records, stuff like that. So you'll know everything about the person you, and they will, we won't let them in unless we know they're truly a real person. We do these kind of, I don't like to call them background checks, verification checks, I guess is the best way to say it, right? That you're really who you say you are. So that's really exciting because I hear from all my, from my guys all the time about how they get connected to women that aren't real and they're scamming them for money. So this, this will protect you. Also, you get every month you get four free background checks four. and what's awesome about that is if you meet someone on any of these dating sites i just mentioned or out in the world because you know they're 
a real person, obviously, but you might not know if they, who they say they are. I know people that have met people and then didn't know they were married and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So we, they will do that verification check as well. Give you a report on that person so you know who they really are. Okay. So that's really exciting. You get those, you get four of them a month. And then there's going to be all kinds of, um, there's articles, trainings, all kinds of free training for singles on the site. It's going to be really cool. Eventually we'll have, we'll have singles events. Just, just It's the ground floor of this dating community. It's going to, basically we're trying to come up with a way to, a new way to date, right? Instead of, you know, because I know a lot of people are struggling out there, especially with the COVID. They can't go to the normal places to meet people. And even groups that used to meet can't really do that so much anymore. I mean, people are, and I wish they would, but this is a new way that we're doing all online that, and then of course, help, helping you transition to the in-person <laughs> kind of dating as well. So I want you to, I'm just I'm excited about that. Again, if you're interested in, in that community, just, and uh, knowing more about it, because we're launching it next week, just type hashtag community. And then the last thing is, again, we're having the on the free challenge that starts Friday, sorry, Monday, Monday through Friday, it's five days, five day challenge to help you upgrade, reboot, how you want to call it, have a magnetic online dating profile. Okay. So I will be helping you. I'm only taking 20 guys so I can really help each of you look through your profiles and see, you know, what I can do to help you. And like I said, we're going to be having some hot seats, helping you guys that are really committed to doing that. To really transforming your online dating profile and having your, your love life go to the next the next level okay anyways i hope you oh good roy says community awesome yay roy <laughs> so um that's it for tonight again those these are the things to think about for your online dating profile put effort and time into it think of it Really, I think the best, I like, I like this new analogy. I just came up with it tonight, by the way, of your online, of your resume. It's like a resume, but it's for dating, right? I mean, I guess we already knew that, but like, really think of it like that. Like apply what you, like a lot of these new tech guys, you know, you want your resume to be pretty stellar. You want it to look good. You want it to impress the, the employers. So take the time to do it with your online dating profile. And one of the ways you can start is by joining us next week in the, in the free challenge, okay? I think there's a link in this post. If there's not, I will put one in there for you to join the free challenge. And I look forward to getting to know you if I don't know you already. And I look forward to helping you uh, transform your online dating profile so women go, ooh, yeah, I think I'll, I want to get to know that guy a little more. Okay, so I'm all, I'm all here for your success, okay? I'm here for you, so. Y'all have a great Friday, rest of your Friday night. And um, if I don't see you next week on Monday on the in the challenge, I will see you next Friday for our live stream. Okay? Y'all take care and y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.